Dream AI from my designs, in my opinion, is the best AI image generation software out there. The reason why is you have so many different options available in one single place. So this is at mydesigns.io slash dream and you'll see here there's a huge library of images um, that people have generated. And I also want to show that you can filter by specific um, topics at the top. You can also filter here by clicking the filter button by all the models that we have. So you'll see here this is all the models. Um, no one has this many models attached to their AI generation software, so you can really get a whole bunch of different variations of whatever you're trying to do. But today I'm going to show you specifically how you can find easy um, ideas for t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, any types of products like that, and then also how to scale those ideas. So I'm going to just scroll through here a bit and just we'll take a look until we um, find something that looks easy to scale and uh, create into our own unique ideas I think that I did just pass one up here that I believe we can take and scale um, it's right here this one that says I love my class a latte so it's a fantastic design and I think we can take the word class here and just have this design scale so I'm gonna go ahead and click into this you'll see there's a few different variations of this design as it looks like it was the person that generated them requested four generations. Now you'll see over here as well, this is the prompt. This is the model they used, which is Idogram, like I said, might be my favorite for text generation, the resolution they generated at, the file type, etc. So if we like this, all we have to do is just click this copy prompt here. Now I'm going to jump over to My Designs GPT now, which was specifically built to scale prompts. So you'll see here, I actually have a message that I um, typed out ahead of time to save some time. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here. So this is the prompt below. If you see here, it says analyze this prompt and scale the part that says class to different ideas. And then the prompt is a playful and colorful design on a black background. It features three coffee cups, each with a unique design and heart motives. The cups are positioned centrally with the text, I love my class a latte. So we asked it specifically to change this part. The words a latte are written below the cup, emphasizing the theme. The design is whimsical and uses bright colors like pink, white, and red, um, and heart motifs scattered around the cup. So we'll go ahead and just hit enter on this and see what it gives us. So my designs GPT specifically built to structure these individual um, prompt so that you can just copy paste these into dream ai and have it generate them all at once so we don't have to go copy each individual prompt and let's go ahead and take a look what it says so the first one says i love my job a latte so the it, it's uh substituted class for job there and this one says i love my teachers a latte i love my friends a latte I love my family a latte, pets a latte. So you can see it's doing a really good job at scaling these prompts. So now you'll see it um, it's done. We could ask it to give us some more ideas if we didn't like these, but I'm just gonna show you what you can do. So we'll go ahead and copy this here up to this part. I'll go ahead and hit Control C, and then we're gonna jump over to My Designs now, and you'll see I'm in a um, collection here. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there's several other videos on how to do it, but we're gonna go to the left menu here now and go to Dream AI. So you'll see this is what it looks like when you're actually generating images. So if I click on here, this is the style, which um, is showing Recraft, I believe this is actually all for recraft. So this is the model here that we need to change. So you'll see here's all the models that you saw before. And you can, or excuse me, the design we went to was using ideogram version two. So I like to use the same version as I think we're gonna get similar results if we do. So we'll go ahead and go to um, ideogram version two. I'm gonna turn magic prompt off. And what that means is, it's not gonna change the prompt at all. If you leave magic prompt on, it tries to change it slightly to give you different results. I'm gonna turn it off here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then paste all of our prompts into this um, 
this text field. Now I also need to make sure to turn parallel prompts on. What that means now is each new line will generate a separate image. And so that's why I said my designs GPT is actually specifically built to, um, to structure these in the right way to do different prompts. So you'll see there is a line break. That means it's gonna read this when parallel prompts is on as a separate one. You'll see it takes 112 credits. The reason why it's so high is because obviously we're generating, I believe it's eight or nine different prompts. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click dream and we'll go ahead and see what that does for us. Now, sometimes they do fail. If a dream ever fails, you'll get the credits um, refunded back to you immediately. Um, but it looks like they're all good here. It should take just a minute, but it's really cool and it helps us scale any ideas and then also create unique ideas so that we're not just copying the exact design that we uh, use. We just are using the prompt because we like the results it gave us. So it looks like a few of them are finishing up. Uh, might take just a minute for them to load. Here we go. So this is the first one. I love my job a latte. I think those are fantastic. I love my friends a latte. So you see that the general idea is really, really good. This one's my pets a latte and it even got some um, paw prints in there related to the pets. I love my team a latte. So that is how you can easily take ideas from Dream AI at My Designs and then scale them to different um, ideas. So if we liked any of these, we could just click on them you know, let's maybe just take one from each. I'm not going to get too picky here about what they look like. But I'll just select a few of those. And then all we'd have to do is save these to a listing. Um, I was already in a collection, like I said, or excuse me, save them to a collection, create new listings. We can upscale these images if we would like to right here by 4x, um, which would be good enough to sell on t-shirts and other different products at that point. And then we can just go ahead and click save to listings. So you'd see we had four images selected up here. So it's going to save those four images. And that'll take just a minute. And then once it's done, I'll jump over to the list listings page and show you guys what they look like there. Looks like it just finished up. So now I'm going to go back to listings here. And you'll see here is all of our files or rather our designs that are ready to start getting work done on them. And then you can easily turn these into products, which then turns into cash. So if you find the right idea, you do the research on, you know, products that are selling really well, and then you use my designs GPT to scale those ideas, to have your own unique ideas, you can really start creating a ton of products that get a lot of sales really quickly. So I hope everything in this video made sense. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below.